Uh, one of the new things that the Nokia N8 uh, powered by the Symbian 3 OS can do is connect with the Bluetooth mouse as well as the Bluetooth keyboard so you can have both of them connected I'm just going to show you how easy it is to set one of these things up all you need to do is go to options and then you can search for a new pair device uh, I already have them on screen but I'm still going to search for new devices so that you can get a better idea uh, you can choose all devices or scroll down to just select the input devices if, if you think there's there's going to be a lot of Bluetooth devices that will pop up if your Bluetooth peripheral is in the discovery mode it should pop up in a couple of seconds we'll probably wait for the for the phone to stop searching there you have it, that's the mouse, just tap on it and it will try and connect to the mouse, pair it uh, with whatever passcode your Bluetooth peripheral requires. This is the Apple mouse so it requires four zeros. Once you do that, select to connect automatically so that whenever the Bluetooth mouse is in range it will connect to your phone if the Bluetooth is turned on and there you have it. That's the Bluetooth mouse and, and once you have the mouse you can have complete access, you can move it around, you can go to options, you can go back, One a right click takes you out directly to the menu, a double tap uh, takes you to the menu inside and, and a single tap takes you to the home screen. If you want to flick home screens you, you can just tap, tap once and you can move around and you can even long press and edit the home screen do whatever. This home press option works in a variety of menus and uh, let's add the keyboard as well so, so we have a complete, uh, complete set of uh, peripherals working. In order to add the keyboard you will have to go to the connectivity and Bluetooth options once again again go to the similar process of searching for new devices this time I'm just going to directly select the keyboard it should ask you for the passcode just like for the mouse so you can just put the passcode in whatever it is for your Bluetooth peripheral for the Apple keyboard it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 And, and that's it. You can again set it, set it to connect automatically. Once you have the Bluetooth keyboard working, you can uh, select the layout. I'm, I'm going to leave it as such. Uh, the command key, at least on the Apple keyboard, the left command key works as the left soft key. The escape button gets you out of whatever you're doing, and the right command key works as the right soft key. So, so once once you set up with that, uh, you can also use the arrow keys to move around screens or uh, uh, do whatever, uh, move around the web page or wherever you are. You can use the mouse to click around, go to web pages. I'm just going to lo load the handheld blog, and as you can see, it's it's pretty easy. I I typed in the name and then just hit enter. It automatically picked the name up and started loading the web page. So once you have the web page, you can either click and drag the web page or you can use the scroll option on your mouse. Another thing that you can do with the, the mouse is a long press will, will get you into the app switcher. So you can move around applications by simply dragging the mouse pointer along. Once you, once you like a particular app, you can tap to switch into it. If, if you still want to exit, you can again long press and then move into a different app. It all works very seamlessly, and uh, I've been actually playing with the Bluetooth mouse and and the keyboard, and this and have uh, the N8 connected by HDMI to the TV, and I'm I'm glad to say that the experience is pretty nice.